Also, if the worthy is the right word, being worthy or living the type of life, putting the right energy out into the universe, that the different signs, that signs are going to get sent your way. That the universe, or you could say God, or whoever, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to call it, you could call it God, the creator, universe, a higher power, a higher purpose, a higher calling, however you word it to make yourself feel comfortable, doesn't matter to me. It's just knowing that that universe, that other thing, that thing bigger than yourself, is going to send you signs when you are worthy, when you put the right energy out into production. That's what I see a sign as. Sign is an instruction. And sometimes things pop in your head. You're like, where did that thought come from? Why do I want to go do that thing? It's probably some kind of subconscious sign that you need to follow to get to where you need to be next. And it's only going to lead you in the direction that you're meant to freaking go in, good or bad. Sometimes it'll lead you into a bad situation because that's where your dumb ass needs to be at that point in life. So the universe will send you these signs. And it will lead to failure. It'll lead to disaster. Because that's where you need to be to go. And that sign, the universe is trying to teach your mother, you a mother lesson. That this is not where you need to be. Here's the sign that you need to change something up. And this is not directional to go in, but you need to go through. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. Today's episode is going to be all about one of the F-bombs, one of the foundational F-bombs that is really included in every one of my businesses, in everything I do, and that is the F-bomb of faith. Now, when we're saying faith, we're not just talking about religion. I want to make that clear. Is there a religious aspect to it? Yes, there can be. Is that even what we're going to talk about today on that faithful side of, of religion? Yes, we're going to tap into that also, but it's really about faith meaning faith in yourself, faith in the process, faith in the, in the universe in general, faith in other people, just faith in that you're on the right path and also faith on the religious God sense. If that's the direction you want to take your own faith, that's all good. But we're going to dive deep into it on, on different levels on this episode of The Steve Eckert Show, which is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt overcome and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business. So you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms, all while you create your own personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. And in order to do that, you must have this faith, this F-bomb of faith. And by faith, we don't just mean faith. It means See, recognizing the signs around you and following those signs and taking action on those signs and following through, seeing things through to the end, even sometimes you don't know where you're going with it or what direction you're going in. That's what we're talking about, really weaponizing your faith. And tr you've heard the term trusting the process or whatever else you want to call it. We're going to talk more about signs, following the signs, the signals, the signs that come into your day that you, that you, you think are just a, a rare coincidence or whatever but it, it these are your your part of your intuition it's part of your subconscious mind probably and the intuition you have and your gut feeling combined with your experiences and your knowledge and your wisdom combined with the energy you're putting out into the freaking world is giving you these signs and signals of something you're supposed to do or some direction you're supposed to go in or somewhere you're supposed to do something and you don't fucking follow through with it because you don't have that faith. You don't follow those signals because you don't have faith, whether it's not faith in yourself or faith in the process or faith in just the universe in general or faith in other people. You need to develop that deep rooted. This is a, a deeper level of faith than we're talking about than just going and studying the Bible every week or going to church every week or something like that. A lot of that's just false rooted where you, because then you're just going back to being a, a fucking douchebag all the week and being one of those haters onto the internet. Funniest thing is, Right now, we're going through, a, after each class of the project, and, and faith is one of the F-bombs of the project, but after each class of the project, we get an enormous level of hate on the internet because we post a lot of videos, and some of the videos are the, the crazy, chaotic videos from behind the scenes, and they'll see 15 seconds of a 75-hour experience, which really that 75-hour experience is a year and a half long experience when it comes down to it, but they'll see 20 seconds clip and have so much hate and violence and a talk offensive to 
the instructors and our families and uh, everything about us and threaten us and death threats and all this craziness on the internet. These are grown men sitting at home on the internet. And then you look up on their profile, if you click on it, usually it's a hidden profile, but you'll see some of their tags in their profile. And there'll be like a Bible verse or something on there. That's like their tagline. And this is how they're operating and acting as a man in the world, as a grown man sitting at home and wondering why their life is not the way, the way they want it to be and wondering why they're not getting these signs that we're going to talk about here in a second. Why, is, why are they unfulfilled? Why is there no satisfaction in their freaking life that they have to spend their day and then they go in groups and together and they validate each other by agreeing with each other. Yeah, these guys are assholes and this and that and they're fake military and why don't they just join the, the military and all this other shit they'll gather up together to, to validate each other in, in their lack of faith that they're having, probably lack of faith in their selves and faith in their situation where they're at right now. And they're not, and the, and the universe is not sending them these signs and these signals because you're not going to, the universe is not going to send you these things. It's not going to nudge you in the directions you need to be going in when you are in that place of lack and that place of negativity and half-assing and dragging your ass through shit and not being more open-minded and knowing when to shut the fuck up and when to look a little deeper into what's actually going on before you throw in your, your man two cents on the fucking internet from a 15-second clip. They are lacking faith. They are lacking direction because they're not getting these signs we're going to talk about. So what is, what is faith anyway? Faith is, well, first, we're, we're talking about faith in yourself, faith in, universe, in the universe, faith in other humans, faith in the process, faith in doing the right thing in your mission and your vision and your values and your goals and your character. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about faith. That's a high a, a level of what we're talking about. But faith is in the dictionary is just a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Most people are lacking that in so many different areas of their life. A complete trust or confidence in something, someone or something. Then on the religious side, faith is a strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. That is faith where you don't need the proof. You don't even need, it doesn't even have to make sense, maybe sometimes logically, but you have faith and belief in it. Because sometimes you think about the think about the universe and the planets and shit that goes on just in the world. Like there's got to be, how did that, how did it all get created? And there's all that you could go from the science, science direction, the religious direction. And this is not going to be a, a religious discussion at all. There's going to be all about having faith and all about following the signs that the universe throws in your path and, and go in those directions because that's the way you're, where you're meant to go as a freaking man. So that, that's what we're going to be diving into, that trust, that belief, that confidence, that conviction that you have. Faith could also be in a, in a creed or a doctrine. In the project, we have a project creed. And that's the one. faith is one of the F-bombs, one of the pillars of the project. Family, fitness, finances, and faith leading you to fulfillment as a man. There is no fulfillment as a man without some deeper level of faith, some higher power, some higher purpose, some higher calling, a meaning as man. And, and in, in the Freak Father Alliance, the, the group men's mentorship coaching program that I run, our, our pillars there are, are very similar. And it's mindset, muscles, money, and meaning. That meaning is that faith piece. That, that faith piece, the meaning of faith, the meaning of having a higher power, uh, working towards a higher calling, something bigger and outside yourself, whether that's your family, that's your creator, whatever, whatever you want it to be for you, whatever your meaning is, whatever your purpose is, it all ties into this faith and these, these signs and these signals. And when, when I think about it, think about like the planets, think about the outer space, like what the, where, what the fuck is even out there and how did it get there? How is everything so specifically aligned with the, the way the earth rotates and the, the sun and the moon and the stars and everything specific distances and is on a specific rhythm, like dead accurate pinpoint of rhythm. That shit ain't fucking normal. It makes you think that there's something bigger than your own mind can even comprehend. That's what we're talking about faith. That's when it goes outside of proof-based logic or thought or even science. Like, yeah, sure. You could think, think of like, uh, an ant, an ant, an ant, whatever it's called, a, a colony of ants. Like they're just automatically all work together, all know what they're doing. We have a, a tortoise here on on the property, and it somehow it finds its way around. It has its own rhythm, its own like 
rituals that it does. It knows when to hibernate, when to go deep, deep, dig in its hole for like four or five months of the year. And when it comes out, it knows where to go find the grass. It knows the whole layout of the entire land. It goes right back into its hole in slow motion every day, like clockwork. It's, it's like the sun and the stars and the moon. And the, it's, it's, it's fucking nuts. Like there's something bigger at play there outside of yourself. That's what faith is. Just knowing that there's additional forces in the universe, different energies and vibrations in the universe that are out there. And some of those are signs that are, are, are led your way. And that's a, a lot of what we're talking about is these signs, following these signs. No, first of all, I don't know if the worthy is the right word, being worthy or living the type of life, putting the right energy out into the universe that the different sign that signs are going to get sent your way, that the universe, or you could say God or whoever, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to call it, you could call it God, the creator, universe, a higher power, a higher purpose, a higher calling, however you word it to make yourself feel comfortable. It doesn't matter to me. It's just knowing that that universe, that other thing, that thing bigger than yourself is going to send you signs when you are worthy, when you've put the right energy out into the world. So like I'm talking about these haters on the freaking internet, the universe is not sending them signs. So all they could do is congregate together and talk shit about motherfuckers that they don't even know they never met. If I met those, if I met those dudes and they, they I bumped them in the gym, you know what? I'm not even a hugger, but I'll probably give those motherfuckers a hug. That's what I would do because they're in need of a fucking hug. Because they don't know shit about me. They don't know shit about the project. They don't know shit about anything. But they'll sit there in their miserable little lives or miserable little world and just talk shit and, and gossip like little girls. These are grown freaking men. Some who are married and have children, they're lacking this direction they're, because they're not getting these signs from the universe because they're putting this shit energy out into the universe, which is just letting them pool up in this in, infested little area together to, to, to validate each other, make each other feel better about things. So follow those signs. So what is a sign? How do you know when a sign is your way? Well, first, we always dig it into the dictionary. Let's, so let's say a, a sign is a, a gesture or action used to convey information or instructions. The universe will send you signs. A gesture or action used to convey information or instructions. That's what I see as signs as. Sign is an instruction. And sometimes things pop in your head. You're like, where did that thought come from? Why do I want to go do that thing? It's probably some kind of subconscious sign that you need to go fucking follow to get to where you need to be next. And it's only going to lead you in the direction that you're meant to freaking go in, good or bad. Sometimes it'll lead you into a bad fucking situation because that's where your dumb ass needs to be at that point in life. So the universe will send you these signs and it will lead to failure. It'll lead to fuck ups. It'll lead to disaster because that's where you need to be to go. And that sign, the universe is trying to teach your mother, you a motherfucking lesson that this is not where you need to be. Here's the sign that you need to fucking change something up and this is not direction you're supposed to go in, but you need to go through this shit first before you can get any type of reward or a sign or a direction in a, in a favorable area or, or a positive area. And a, a sign also is an object, a quality or an event whose presence or occurrence indicates the probable presence of something else. So it's, it's a, an occurrence. It's something that's telling you there's something else there. It's something else pointing you in the right direction. It's a, it's a evidence showing you that here's the evidence that this is what you need to be go fu go and fucking do. It's that intuition that's in you as a man, that fire in your freaking belly, that, that almost anxiety that you don't know where it's coming from, something that's pushing you and telling you some shit and you don't know why. And then that's internally. And then you, it'll, that internal energy that you have of intuition and, and, and wisdom and character when something else happens out there in the world, it's a sign telling you. It's combined the two together, putting you and putting you in that direction you need to be going. It's an indication. It's a, a suggestion. It's a fucking hint for your dumbass to go over there and go do that thing. Now, I'm going to give you some, some freaky ass examples that have happened to me. This is all within the last two months, probably less. Yeah, six to eight weeks. So first is, all right, so when I was a kid, I used to go to church every week. And I remember just thinking like how it was just miserable. It seemed very generic. It seemed very fake, not authentic, like just going through the motions. All the people that were going there, the families that were going there were just checking the box to say they went to church and now they're not living according to anything that they talked about or prayed on or, or worshiped on. They're going back to their miserable, boring lives. They're not implementing anything they're talking about or, or, or d diving deeper into anything. And they're not practicing any of that during the week. They're just, and especially the men, 
They're just these soft, weak, docile, just showing up there and not leading their fucking families the way they should be. Like my father went to church every Sunday. I can remember him going to church every single Sunday when I was a kid. Was he living according to the way a man should be living and, and taking care of his family? Fuck no. But he'd be going to church every week. Same with the other people that were there. And then you know the truth about the people that are there and you, and you see how they op- operate throughout the week. So there, there was a big disconnect there. So that's the first, that's the first like, sign there. So I kind of drifted away from that idea of it as I became an adult and, and just started getting into other forms of, of personal development and philosophy and getting into Stoicism and Buddhism and just overall personal development in general. And a lot of, I think of like Napoleon Hill. That's not necessarily religious, but there are border areas of overlapping fields of fire where some personal development kind of ties into faith, kind of ties into somewhat religion when you think about it. When it talks about the, the sub- subconscious mind and whatever, laws of attraction and all that other stuff. So I've drifted away from that as an adult. But then I start thinking, I'm always every month or every week, really every day, reflecting on, all right, what can I be doing even better? And so I started just journaling about it one day. This is about probably two months ago. And I'm, 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 I'm telling myself, all right, what is, what's missing? A lot of times, whatever's missing is usually right in front of your fucking face. You're, you can't find it because you're searching for it, but it's right there. So is, is that faith missing? Was that what was missing? And, and it popped up because it was right about after one of the classes of the project and we talk about the faith F-bomb. And I'm looking at it and thinking, you know what? I have faith in myself. I have faith in certain other people. I have faith in the universe in general. I have faith in my mission and vision and values and goals, but I don't have faith in my faith. I don't, I, I've kind of lost that. Talking about from a, a higher power, a, a creator, religious sense. So I said, you know what? Maybe I need to dive a little deeper into that. And the next day, for some reason, I started reading. Uh, I went to the bookshelf and I was drawn to a book on a bookshelf here. And it was a book I've read before. What was it called? There it is right there. Wild at Heart. John Eldridge, Wild at Heart. So I went back and started reading that again and started listening to it again. Somehow that that day thought me uh, clicked in my head to go start reading that book again. And I haven't read that book in, I don't know, three, four years probably or more. And so I start reading that book and then I get Tyson a copy of it and he starts reading that book. And as I'm reading that book, I remember where I got that book from. I got it from this used bookstore in Chino, California. It's like, a, like one of those used thrift shops where people d- d- donate their stuff and you go and buy it. They have a huge book section there and I go there all the time to find used books and I'll leave there with 20, 30 books and they're usually a, a, a dollar or two each. And I got this book from that bookstore. And I'm reading this book, just got back into reading it, got Tyson his copy, he's reading it. So we t- we'll talk about a couple of things that are in the book. And it's about men and men, boys be- becoming men and what men sh- are meant to be made like according to the- the religious. And it ties in to s- stories of the Bible that connects religion and faith together. So I started thinking about it. And I remember it was a Wednesday and the next day was Thursday. That's our, our, our date night, me and the Russian. We go out on Thursday nights and go, some, go to different places. And I'm reading this book and as I'm reading it, I'm thinking about where I got the book from. And it was from the bookstore, from this used thrift shop. That's whatever, 35, 45 minutes from us with traffic, maybe like an hour drive from our house. And I said, you know what? Tomorrow on our date night, this book is telling me that our date night should be going to this bookstore, this used store. It's not even a bookstore. It just has a book section. It's like clothes and all kinds of shit, just like one of those thrift shops. For some reason, reading that book on that Wednesday sent me the sign that I should be, we should be going there on our date night. So we go there Thursday night. Big surprise to Russia. We're going to some used thrift shop. Romantic fucking date, right? So we go to this bookstore. And the first book I see, it's over here on the other side. But I, I'll pull it up. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the show notes. I'll put a copy. Of, I'll tell you a copy of it. I don't remember the, the author. It's called The Purpose Driven Life. The first book I see when I walk in is this book called The Purpose Driven Life. And I'll I'll go, and actually I need to pull it up. Tyson, you grab me that book. So the first book I see when I walk in, it's mixed in with tons of other books, but some reason it's sticking out. And so I grab it, and here it is right here by Rick Warren. So I open it up, and inside, there's like this written note from someone. It's not to me, it's for Pam from... Your tits, Diane. Your tits, Diane, whatever that's supposed to mean. But anyway, and there's a handwritten note to her. It doesn't matter what the note says, but it's a handwritten note. So I'm like, that's just weird. None of these books in here. It's a used bookstore. They're all, but it's also was a brand new copy of it with the handwritten note on the inside. 
kind of a note that that made a little sense and whatever. And I'm like, you know what? That maybe that that's why I was sent to this store to buy this book. But I'm like flipping through it, and it's like they're they're talking. It's a looks like a decent personal development book, and a lot about purpose and a lot about whatever family, manhood, fatherhood, and and whatever else you want to say, and faith and belief and discipline and all this other stuff. But a lot of it, pretty much the entire thing ties into God, the Bible, and all this stuff. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. It sounds like it's maybe a little too woo-woo for me. So I put it on the shelf. We're there for maybe 30, 40 minutes, just looking through books, reading books, choosing now. We have a shopping cart now. We literally got like 30 books that day because they're, they're, they're so free and cheap. Like this one, $2.99, and some days are 50% off. So dirt cheap. And so me and the Russian, we're leaving. The cart is full. I'm not getting this book. I have a cart full of all these other books. And as we're walking out, we're about to walk out. The Russian says, what about this book? Did you check that book out? And she points to this book on the shelf. She didn't even see me open it up before or look at it. I'm like, all right, that's another sign. All these signs, you see, I'm just following these breadcrumbs. That sign was, all right, buy the fucking book. So I buy the book, throw it in the cart, and I get home and start reading it. Literally, the introduction to it, I'm going to read part of it to you, put it, part of it. It starts off, this book is dedicated to you, and it goes on to some other stuff, and then it says, it's no accident that you are holding this book, and then it talks about discovering the life that you're, you're created to live on earth and, in, in for, and forever, but literally, the first page in the intro, it says, this book is dedicated to you. It's no accident that you're holding this book. That was some weird shit to me, so I said, all right, I'm going to go into this book. There's 40 like sections of it, basically 40 days. It's a daily reader, kind of a... a a big daily reader because some of the page, some of the sections are like five, six, seven pages, but whatever. So I commit to reading that. I'm actually only on day. Today was day because some days, like during the project, I'd only read a section each. So I'm on day 33 out of 40. So almost done with it. But I'd say for the last 10 days of it, I've spread them out to like one day. I'd spread out to three or four days because they're very big sections. So I would go and the sections have subsections. So I would do like a subsection a day. But anyway, I'm on technically on day 33 of the book. And so I committed to, I'm going to go through this entire thing. I'm going to go through it slow. I'm going to take notes. I'm going to highlight stuff. I'm going to reread sections, look stuff up that I don't know and understand and just dive deep into it because something led me to this fucking book and I'm reading it. It's going into purpose and I'm following the signs of it. And that's that. So I'm, I'm getting to that. That's the first sign. Right, that I need to go tap a little deeper into faith or whatever you want to call it, a little more connection to a higher power, to the universe. Then I'm in the middle. When I first just started, I'm only on the first couple days of that book, maybe day four or five. And it's a lot about your connection to your God, to God and, and, and faith and religion, whatever else, the universe, a higher calling. And I'm sitting there at night one night, and this is after just a couple of days until I'm like, you know what? I, I, Promised myself I'm going to be open-minded going into this thing. And I'm laying there at night and I can't fall asleep. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm laying there. 11 o'clock. Midnight. Just laying there. Like, why the fuck can't I fall asleep? I normally just fall asleep. No problem. Get great sleep. Something's keeping me awake. I don't know what it is. I'm like, all right. I'm going to follow the breadcrumbs again and say, all right, if something's keeping me awake, I'm going to put this energy out to the universe or to the higher power or God or whatever you want to call it. I don't want to make this about such a, a godly thing. But if I do, what's really wrong with that? How is that such a bad thing? If this was about God, if yeah, the freak is in here talking about God or, or faith or, or, or your purpose, it really ties into all the personal development we talk about anyway, when you think about it, it's just a, another form of personal development. So I'm laying there, can't fall asleep, laying there literally for like three hours, can't fall asleep. And I say, all right, let me go a little deeper into this thought of this whole faith idea and this book, the signs that led me to this book that says there's no re the way that that whole thing happened was just fucking weird with the book of, of going home with it. The first book I saw, I left it on the shelf and the Russian's like, Aren't, what about that book? Did you check it out? As we're walking out and I grab it and get it, handwritten note inside says, there's no, no accident, you're holding this book. So two or three days into it, I start and, and laying there in bed, can't fall asleep. And I'm like, all right, let me go deeper into this whole faith, higher power thing. And I say, all right, if there's anything to this, I'm going to still give it a shot for those whole 40 days. I'm going to go deep into it. And I'm only like two or three days into it. But if there's something to this, if there, if I'm on the right path, tomorrow I will get a, a sign of this from the universe, from, from God, whatever you want to call it, because 
there's still it's this seems like it's something that's missing and it seems like the signs are leading me in this this path but but let's see what happens tomorrow and i'm thinking about maybe i'm not even going to finish those 40 days because it's just like a lot of woo woo stuff and whatever else i wake up the next morning and i'm not fucking shitting you when i wake up i don't check my email for over an hour after i wake up it's one of my rules it's a ritual i don't break it hardly ever this morning i woke up it was now, I don't remember the day of the week, doesn't even matter. I wake up. For some reason, while I'm laying in bed, I, my alarm goes off. I open my phone and something tells me to open up my fucking email. I'm like, why the fuck would I do that? I never open up. I have a rule. I don't check email until I'm up, until after my whole morning routine is done and I'm ready to start the work day. Then I go check it because I don't want it spoiling my morning. Something tells me to check my email that morning, first thing in the morning, while I'm still laying in bed, like against all of my fucking rules. And I open it up. And there's this email from this dude in Texas, uh, Gabriel. And he sends me this message. He's got this, me- he's got this event coming up in Tennessee in like 10 days from now. And he had seen me on a podcast, the same podcast he was on. We both were guests on a, on, a, on, a, on a mutual podcast in the last like few weeks. He had noticed I was on there. And he said the night before he couldn't fall asleep, he was just laying in bed all night And thought for some reason, when he saw me on the same podcast that he was on, that he had to reach out to me to come and show up and and speak and train and help coach and instruct at his event coming up in Tennessee. So he's in Texas. I'm in California. He's got this event in Tennessee. And like, it was like 10 days out or very short. I don't remember how many days, very less than two weeks. I'm pretty sure. And there's an email. Would you be open to talking about it? So I'm like, all right, this is just fucking weird. I literally email response him right there while I'm still laying in bed. Didn't even get out of bed yet. So like against my rules, like it's almost embarrassing for me to say this, that I actually broke my own rituals, but these were just following the signs. And turns out he's having this event and his event, he said he was laying in bed. He prayed, was praying to God to give him some answers. And some reason I popped into his head after we were both on this episode and he had to reach out to me to come to speak at his event, which is at a Christian retreat center in Tennessee. Now, if you've seen some of the things that these motherfuckers hate on the internet, the fun that we have in the project, which is all situation-based and all done for specific reason the way it's done, and these motherfuckers see stuff for 15 seconds and they think they know you and they don't, that's why I'll give those motherfuckers a hug. I tell you, if I meet one of you haters in in person, I'm going to give you a fucking chest-to-chest, belly-to-belly fucking hug. How about that? I am gonna, I'm not a hugger at all. I don't hug anyone except my family. I'm gonna give those motherfuckers, I run into one of you motherfuckers on the street, I'm gonna give you a hug. You could punch me in the face afterwards, but I'm gonna hug your bitch ass. How about that? You need a fucking hug more than I need a hug. I'm gonna give you a hug. There's my deal. I'm putting it out there to the fucking universe. Hopefully that sends me into a sign to run into one of these haters out there that, that needs this, needs a little fucking, needs to find their way. But anyway, so I go to the event, Tyson comes with me, and we're going for a boys trip. We're going flying out to Tennessee. We, we get the flights and all that. And it's at a Christian retreat center. Literally, I'm speaking to this group. It's a, although you could call it a, a, a Christian faith-based kind of men's personal development group, they're doing live shooting with rifles like AR-15s and pistols and clearing houses with using live ammo. It's fucking awesome. They're doing, having fist fights, like MMA fist fights with four ounce gloves, like actually throwing blows and choking each other out. So that's the, and that's the type of shit that Christian men should be doing, not just be sitting in church living this fake, b- bullshit, fake, false life. So awesome fucking event. Like cr- as crazy as the project is, that was intense in more other levels that they're shooting live ammunition and having real fights with, against each other. Like fucking awesome. So, but I'm speaking in a place in the building I'm speaking in is actually called the chapel in the woods. I'm speaking, there's like a cross behind me on the stage that I'm speaking in just fucking wild, like me and Tyson were there. We're in the car, the Uber driving there. And then we're in the car with some of the guys meeting them for the first time. Cause I've never met any of these people in my life. And we're like looking at each other. Like, are we even fucking here? Are we like in the twilight zone? It's just wild off the wall. And here we are. And these are just following those, those, those breadcrumbs. And on the plane, I'll tell you this, we're on the plane. Tyson and I are on the plane and we're sitting there and we, I, I start was starting this men's group, which also happened from a faith-based way, the way my men's group was started, the, the Freak Father Alliance. I'll go into that in a second. We needed a training program for this group. So we're sitting there on the plane and we just start brainstorming these ideas. And I pop up my computer and we start opening up these spreadsheets, 
talking about all the, the way that we train ourselves that we haven't taken a day off in over two years. And I've been using the same kind of formula for training for over 20 years for myself to stay in shape all year round and to always be pretty fit and have, have abs. And I've trained literally tens of thousands of people using the same formula. So we started putting it together on spreadsheets. It turned into us working on this, this program routine. It's now called the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula. We created an entire business on that plane together going out to Tennessee, just me and Tyson. And Tyson then participated in an entire event with these men. He did this full three-day men's event, fucking killed it, had a blast, like one of the best trips of our lives, if not the best trip of our lives, just a way of just connecting. And we, we built this business. We had fun. We got some awesome training in together, eating some good food, like just an awesome father son trip experience that happened because of all these signs all these signs led to this this trip to this faith based trip just following having faith and following the signs following the fucking trail of signals and signs that are led there and and all these things think about it going from the book to the book to which leads it to the faith which leads to the thinking in bed which leads to the answer picking up the phone and checking up the email when you're late like all this just fucking wild all these little steps and i'll tell you so then we it's, we, I agree to go do the thing, the Tennessee thing before we went to go do it. And uh, Gabriel has me on his podcast to interview me about the event and just to get to know me a little more because we really never knew each other, really never met. And on the podcast, I'm waking up that morning of that, we're going to do the podcast. Or actually, he's coming to my podcast the next day. We did two days in a row of podcasts. One day I was on his, the next day he was on mine. And so I, I'm, I'm ready to do this post in the morning during my work time. Haven't checked my email yet. Starting my work time, I open up my email, I check my email. Right before I'm about to do this post, I do tons of reading, but I have no books here. Not a ton by written by women. So I want to, just like I want to open my mind to be open-minded. I don't want to only read books by men. I wanted to read some books by women, but I didn't have a ton to choose from. I didn't really know where to start. So I was going to put a post and a poll on Instagram. Does anyone know of what are the, some of the top women's books, or women authors in the personal development space, the leadership space, business space that, that I should be reading? And I'm, I'm thinking of that post in my head. It's in my head. I'm kind of planning it. While I'm doing that, I'm checking my email for the first time this day. This is another day where I'm waiting my actual hour and not being rolling over in bed and checking my fucking email like I did the other day. And I'm checking the, the email. And in the email is, is this same Gabriel from the Freeman Forge sending me a, a, a kind of a, a bio about himself. As I'm ready to do this post about trying to find women that have books and Literally in his bio, he talks about how he is the son of, and he says his mother's name, Denise, who is the author of this book about homeschooling, which I just started homeschooling my kids less than a year ago. So it's a faith-based book on homeschooling your children and creating leaders out of your children written by his mother. As I'm looking for authors, this is in my fucking email the next morning. Talk about just signs and sticking to signs. So of course, obviously the second that happens, I go on Amazon, I order the fucking book and I have it. I have the audio version now. I have the written version of it now. And go to the Forge, go to Tennessee. And who's there? His mother is there. And it's like we've known each other for years. Awesome freaking lady. Uh, and taught, been homeschooling. One of the pioneers when it comes to homeschooling. I learned so much from her. Like all these are faith-based following signs connected. Whether you want to say God, the universe, coincidence, whatever it is. But it's just about following the freaking signs. And crazy how all this this stuff all is connected and is it signs from god is it signs from the universe is it just your intuition is it from your experience from your wisdom your knowledge you decide it doesn't matter to me i'm just going to continue to level up my levels of faith in myself in the world in general in other people even those fucking haters that's why i didn't even think of that till just now i'm going to give those fucking haters a hug it's like i'm on a mission now i want to meet these motherfuckers I'm going to give you a hug, you hating ass motherfuckers. The one that said that I'm gay and my family looks like a bunch of, of bitches and all this stuff that talks about my wife and my kids. I'm going to hug you, motherfucker, because you need it. Because no grown man would be sitting there, 30, 40, 50 years old, on the internet with a group of other grown men just, yeah, man, that guy's a jerk. He's a fake Marine and all this other stuff. You need a hug, motherfucker. And after that, you still want to, I don't know, you're going to knock me out and tomahawk kick me and all this other shit that people tell me. After I give you a hug, you do what you got to do. You handle your business. You, you take care of what you got to take care of. I get threatened literally every day. Oh, I wouldn't, you bet you wouldn't say it to my face if you were in South Carolina or wherever the hell they're from. 
Meanwhile, they're talking shit to me, but saying I wouldn't say it's their face. It's, I can't even comprehend it. You can't wrap your head around it. You can't even try to rationalize it. All you can do is give them a motherfucking hug. What else is there to do at that point? Yeah, you could block them, delete them. But the day that I, I meet one of them, if they actually have the balls to say, hey, I'm the one that said that your, 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 your wife is a, a, a fat or something or whatever. They say all the most random shit. Or the one that I told you that I was going to kick you in the head. Imagine running into those people and them actually having the balls come and tell you that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fucking give them a hug. I can't wait. This is like exciting. This is my fucking mission to meet one of these haters in person. I'm going to have, it's going to happen. I know these signs. I'm putting this energy out to the universe. It's going to fucking happen. I can't wait to hate you, hug you hating motherfuckers because you need some faith. You need to put a different energy out to the universe. So these signs start giving you a little more direction. And so you can have a different trajectory in your life. So you stop just being a bitch ass hater on the fucking internet as a grown man. You're, you're better than that. You're, you're meant for more than that. And that's, I mean, it was just shit in these books that, I'll actually bring. I'll actually buy you a copy of this book for you, for you fucking haters. Any one of you haters out there, let me know. I'm gonna send you a copy of this fucking book, and I'm gonna hug you in person when I fucking see you. I can sit here all day and tell you other different signs and other things that have happened literally in the last two months. This has all happened within the last few weeks. There's so much more other things, but I want to make this a, a five hour long episode. It's already pretty long in general, but I, we kind of get into it. And some of these stories were just so off the fucking wall and awesome. So the message here is. Have some motherfucking faith. Put out that good energy into the universe. Follow the motherfucking signs. Stop being a little hating bitch on the internet unless you want me to give you a hug because I'm going to hug you, motherfucker. Put your comments down below. I want to hear about your stories of following the breadcrumbs, following the signs that have changed the trajectory of your life where it made you a little more open-minded, where it opened your fucking eyes and showed you the fucking way, whether it was the way in the universe, the way you need to go in your life, in your family, your fitness, your finances, whatever it is, what kind of Things have happened to you in your life where you said, oh shit, there's something out there more than just me. There's something bigger than myself out there in the world. I can give you a ton of more examples. Maybe I'll do them on the, on the comments to the post of this or another episode on this. But I think that gives the idea of how serious this shit is for now. So put your comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video. Share it with the hate motherfucker you find on the internet that needs to hear this shit, that needs some different signs and signals in their freaking life. So I will see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. Let's get to motherfucking work. No excuses.